Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Enigmatica 6 Expert. Uh, so since the last episode, it has been a little bit of time. Uh, the server was down for a little bit last night, and then this morning, uh, my internet company, my new internet company, was doing my install. So, uh, But this has been running for a little bit. Uh, we've got a little over six stacks of bone meal, and we have two and a half stacks of source gems at the moment. Uh, now at this point I am going to disconnect the crystallizer for a little bit just so that this can start uh, basically building up source because we're going to be using a little bit of source today. Uh, so at this point, now that we've got ours unlocked, the very first thing that I would like to do is I'd like to get into making some spells. I do believe. I think it's time. Uh, now, one thing, we did unlock the Glyph of Conjure Mage Light last episode, so I do want to go ahead and grab that. Uh, you'll also notice that I do have a Mage Bloom planted. Um, I did make one uh, so far. Uh, let me find the recipe here. Here we go. Uh, so you can see it's just some Source Gems and some Seeds. I went ahead and I made one just so we had some Mage Bloom coming in, but eventually this little field here is going to be Mage Bloom. Uh, you also notice that we do have some grass. That is thanks to Severe. He accidentally vein mined a bit too much. So he did bring us some over, but from our fish farm, we actually got a Silk Touch book. Uh, so technically we do have access to Silk Touch, though since we have a little bit of grass, honestly, I might wait. Um, I haven't looked at the Batania Enchanter yet, but might see where that falls in progression. So uh, Bamboo, I did get that planted. This, this area was chunk loaded, you can tell. And uh, and then I brought out this, so we do kind of have a little fish farm now. You can see it's probably, yeah, it's loaded with fish. Make a body of water and the fish will just show up, you know. Uh, and I did start running stairs down, uh, what's going to lead over there to our mine area. So, uh, And did a little bit of work, just general work around the base a little bit. Uh, so anyways, we are going to be getting into some spells today. We're going to go ahead and click our Glyph of Conjure Mage Light, and so that way we learn it. And if we open up our book, uh, we do start with Self, Projectile, Touch, Break, Harm, and Conjure Mage Light. Now, I know that there were some quests that actually give us... Oh, that's weird. We had finished these, right? And they have reset since. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to break some blocks here, looks like. Because uh, we should have this one, we should have this one, a little bit more. Okay, let me break some blocks down real quick. I don't know why they would have reset, but apparently they did. Okay, now we got a rare R's bo uh, box. Uh, whatever we get, we're going to trash. So it's going to be these potions of mana regen. Uh, we got the sextant, farmer's delight. We got another glyph of light, and we got all of this stuff. So we're going to toss... What all we got here? We got Epic Oreos, Marvelous Clay. Because all that stuff we have already claimed. So, like I said, I don't know why it reset like that. There wasn't like an update or anything. Uh, now this one, we did complete it, but I haven't actually claimed it. Uh, this is for the Reap spell. So we're going to go ahead and take that, or Harvest spell. And we'll go ahead and click that. Okay, so now we're back on track. Now there is this quest here. We didn't actually claim this one. If you recall, we actually made our our uh, Dominion Wand by hand. Uh, but we are going to get a Dominion Wand from this quest. So uh, we just didn't claim it last episode. Now we should be all caught up. Well, they actually want us to make... <laughs> I should have looked at that first. That's okay. Uh, anyways, there is a checkmark quest here. We should go ahead and take that. And then we're going to pop over to the Glyph Press quest, because that's what we're going to be doing first and foremost. And we're going to be doing three or ten crafts of Arcane Stone. There we go. Okay, so there is our Glyph Press. And then we can basically just set this up, you know, near um, a source jar. So as long as it has source nearby, uh, it'll be good. We're going to put it setting... It should be able to draw from here. Uh, so we'll have it set up right there. And now at this point, uh, we are going to get a reward. And then they want us to make some magic clay. Uh, this is going to be enchanted ash. Actually, we made some of this before, right? 
and we're going to be making 20 crafts of this which i think each craft makes two yeah so that's going to give us 40 magic clay that's going to keep us pretty good for a little bit and just got to wait on the lapis i'm going to go ahead and take seven that way we can kind of get started and then we'll come back over and get the rest out of the millstone here shortly but we'll go ahead and get as much crafted as we can there we go and there's 14 magic clay and we're going to get the craft glyph so let's go ahead pop that if we do leap and slow fall we'll get launch let's see that is a wild and wing and this is a feather but this is going to be marvelous clay to do that which technically technically we can pull this off though let's see launch yeah i see if we were to craft this it would be a lot more expensive i mean Technically, this isn't too far. Uh, we're actually going to be pushing for that here fairly soon. Uh, because there's certain things that I want to unlock that's going to make our lives a lot easier from the magic side of things. But Okay, so what we're going to need... Do I have Wild and Wing? I do. Perfect. And I'm sure I've got a Feather. And we do have some Marvelous Clay from the quest. So we'll be able to complete this quest... Uh, even though technically we can't, uh, I don't think we can make Marvelous Clay just yet. No, because we need gold powder. Okay, so let's go ahead, put that in, in our feather, and it's going to start running. Basically, it's going to be pulling a little bit of source from our jar over here. And there we go. There is our Glyph of Slowfall. We'll go ahead and click that. Even though we can't technically use it right now, we can um, activate it, you know. And there is our Glyph of Leap. Awesome. And then we're going to get our Glyph of Launch. And looks like that's it for those quest lines at the moment. So we push on with a bit of clay. If you take a look here, uh, we do have a few of these. Like we've got Break. Uh, what modifiers do we actually have at the moment? We do have Amplify, which is going to be a charged snowball. Let's go ahead and do that one because that one's good to have. We're going to be making some really basic spells today. Uh, summon Steed is just some leather. Uh, so I definitely want to get that one as well. Oh, uh, which I don't have any leather over here. I think I used it all for like item frames and stuff. So let's just pop over to the ocean. And you can see whales keep destroying all of my stuff. I'm going to grab some leather. And actually while we're over here, let's get some more bones too. Because I don't have any of those. We don't have sensitive yet. We do not. Let's go ahead and do that. Which is, I guess it's always good to look at your stuff because I've already got harm. But we will need harm later. So yeah, that's fine. And let me go ahead and get these real quick. Okay, so we're going to make ourselves just a little batch of starter spells. Uh, so we're going to want, uh, let's do a projectile, and it's going to be the harm spell. And then we're just going to amplify it. Like if we did that, and we called this just harm for right now, how much mana would this take? All of it. Okay, so it'd be something that we'd have to cast on occasion. But you can see our mana cap did go up. So now we can cast a few more times. Because as we make more and more of these spells and kind of update our spell book, our total mana is going gonna, is gonna to jump up, basically. Uh, then let's go ahead and do a crafting spell. Uh, this is just going to be self-craft. We'll go ahead and do that. Because this pack is going to be perfect for magic. Because we can't go straight for like really powerful gear, you know. Uh, so this is going to be perfect. We're going to change our toggle selection HUD button. That way we can do this. We can open up our crafting table now on the fly. Super, super handy. Um, and you can see it doesn't really use that much mana or anything. Uh, we're also going to make a self summon steed spell. Uh, we are going to do a projectile light spell. We are going to do a projectile break spell. Um, and we're going to amplify it a few times. Uh, really just probably once. I think we're mainly going to be mining like cobblestone and stuff with it. And we're going to call this break or basic break. We'll be upgrading that one a bit later. Um, and since we do have the bunny hoppers, so we can't actually take any fall damage. And technically we have the umbrella too. Uh, but we're going to make another spell here. And this is going to be a self leap spell. And we are going to amplify it to the max. And we'll call this one Zoom. So if we do Zoom, Zoom. <laughs> and uh, of course we can hold our umbrella and just quickly fall. 
uh, if we if we want to but we can zoom around at this point and of course we don't have the mana to like consecutively zoom but that's okay honestly if we were to probably take down the amplifies a bit which really it is an option let's do let's just do like three amplifies for example with this one this is actually a pretty reasonable amount for us I would say and it's not as bad on our mana cost especially considering we have a little bit of slow fall you know uh, I think this would be a bit better so just three amplifies for now and then of course we can break things automatically we can throw light sources we can do our mount up spell which is going to summon us a mount and that way we've got a good fast ground travel mount uh, but those will be our starter spells there's a few others that would kind of be a little bit useful like freeze uh, honestly we might uh, might just go through here and make a few if nothing else we're going to be boosting our mana like summon wolves not a bad one snare not a bad one um, so let me figure out at least like nine other spells okay i got us a nice little batch of like mixed things certain things are going to be good like aquatic uh, you know just having water breathing is always handy uh, I don't have anything in mind to go underwater just yet, but it's a nice one to just have unlocked. Not to mention all of these that we unlock will actually boost our mana, our maximum mana slightly. Uh, so it's 235 right now, and then we'll take a look here in a second once we get our spells crafted up and see how much mana we've got then. Okay, and it looks like to actually start getting our baubles and stuff, we are... But let's go ahead and take a look now. If we were to do, for example, our zoom spell, we have 235 max mana. This is going to update it, so we have 370 now is our maximum mana. Not bad. And we can use the us as like a quick speed boost too, like if we're getting away from mobs, uh, we do have the ability to do that as well. Now next up, we are going to make ourselves some Sun Metal Blend, which is going to be silver and it's going to be sulfur. Uh, and this way we can start exploring other dimensions, the Undergarden and Atom. Uh, both of which I want to get into. Adam, especially just for building materials. You know, it's a big desert. It's perfect for us. Uh, of course, we do have some of the building materials coming in. Now, this is going to be... I hate loud vehicles. This is going to be silver dust and sulfur. Uh, to get sulfur, it's going to be this one. Um, we can make it with coal dust and enchanted ash. And we can also... That's probably going to be... The easiest route right because i haven't really found sulfur it looks like it can come from the miner and we need four for the scarab and we need four for the scarab but what's the catalyst oh the catalyst actually doesn't even take that it just takes gold inlay uh but to actually get the quest to move forward we're gonna have to make this stuff right here and i also know we're gonna need it for the once we get into nature's aura we're gonna need it so i'm gonna go ahead and make a little batch here and technically we could make a time in a bottle at this point. I'm not going to worry about it though. At some point we'll make one probably. But So we'll go ahead and throw in Enchanted Ash and Coal Dust and we'll get that running. And we only need one piece of Sulfur uh, to get us going. So there is our Sulfur Dust. And so we'll just put our Silver out and our Sulfur and get that crafted up. There we go. There is our Sun Metal Blend. And then we're going to go ahead and get ourselves six crafts of arcane gold. And this is going to give us enough so that we can craft both, uh, both portal pieces. So let's go ahead, get this crafted out, because we're going to need a bit of inlays. All right, so there's all of that. Then we're going to go ahead, get our gold inlays. There's six of those. And then we are prepared at this point to make our scarab and our catalyst. So our catalyst is just the gold inlays, silver ingots, and aquamarine. Let me see, how much silver do I have on hand? Okay. One ingot shy. Did it reset my Eidolon quest too? I think it did. How strange. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw that stuff away whenever I, whenever I get around to picking it up. I'm not that worried about it. It's just like this and this and this, I think, were the only quests that we did 
Uh, so it's not a big, big deal. I'll just get it whenever I get it, you know. Uh, we'll be picking back up with Eidolon before too long. All right, so let's go ahead, throw all of this down. And there is our Scarab. Now, these dimensions, they are fairly dangerous, so I don't suggest going in there without armor. You know what? I've got faith. I think we can we can pop in and get what I want out of it uh, without running into any issues. So, um, I, I probably wouldn't suggest this. I'm pretty familiar with Adam. It's been around for a long time, and it's always been like one of my favorite one of my favorite mods. So I kind of know what to expect, but I really wouldn't suggest going there without iron at least, preferably probably diamond armor. But uh, we're gonna. We're going to pop in and we're going to play it pretty cautious. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, let me grab a bit of sandstone. Let's get a bit of sandstone and then let's pop over right here. We're going to build our portal and we're going to build it one block up. Let's go ahead and remove this underneath. We got to make sure and get the corners. And depending on where we spawn, I may pop back and be like, eh, well, let's get some better armor first. Uh, but this is more of like kind of just a scouting, it's a scouting mission. And they were kind enough to allow us to actually ponder the portals. Uh, this one's been pretty much the same since like 1.7, I want to say, or something like that. I remember at one point it was different, but it's been a long time ago. Just like that. It's going to be four tall in total and a big five by five. And then we're going to take our scarab and we're going to toss it in. Boom. There is our portal to Adam. Now, hopefully we end up on the surface. If not, like I said, we're going to pop back in. We're not going to mess around any longer than we have to. And technically we did finish that gate, but you can see this is going to unlock a lot of stuff. Um, also the undergarden. I know blood magic ties a lot into the undergarden. We're going to have to go there pretty soon too. Undergarden is a lot less dangerous than Adam. Um, generally, I don't know about in this pack, but generally, the mobs aren't quite as dangerous. Ooh, but I see some Alex's mobs. So we're going to set out at this point. Uh, there's generally some pretty easy loot to be had. And look at that. We have Fertile Oasis. <laughs> That's a nice find, actually. Um, right outside of our portal, too. Is that another oasis right over here? I think it is. Let's pop over to this one. Here we can get Adam Palms, and also dates for that matter. But we can get the palm trees from Adam. We definitely want these. <clears throat> There is a bandit party. This is where our jump spell, but you can see, I mean, they didn't, it's not like they did a ton of damage. Well, now they are. But luckily, leap plus slow fall means I can just jump up to the sky. Undergarden, there is a cave top, but the, the ceiling is super high on it. So it's not like the nether where everything's really, really cluttered together. Um, it's not, it's not going to be too bad for us because we can actually escape mobs the same way. But we can pretty much just infinitely bounce at this point. You can see our mana regenerates long before uh, we would ever land. So, all right. They should have wandered off at this point. We're playing the coward game at the moment. There's what I want. Papyrus. Nope. Don't want him. <laughs> Not particular. Well, actually, you know what, though? That's a brigand, cap uh, brigand captain. And we could probably just kill him with our harm spell. If I could aim. Yeah, look at that damage. Boom! Killer be killed. Oh, and he dropped his weapon. We got an iron scimitar. Now there's the brigand party. Let's see if we can take them out too. Two shots. Yeah, ours is going to be really powerful. Especially the way that... Oh! Zoom! Zoom! Zoom, there we go. <laughs> it hadn't caught up. Those archers are going to be the most dangerous, but they're not going to be too dangerous because we can hit them 
from a whole lot farther than they can hit us. You can see their arrows aren't going to even come close. Now this is actually a big, fairly big raiding party, to be honest. There's an archer in the back. I can see him. But this is going to be like our dimension, to be honest. Now if you want to like farm and stuff in this dimension, you have to do it in the oasis biomes. Something very important to note. Lawbringer. That means we've killed one of every brigand type. So we're not going to like really put ourselves in harm's way until we hit tier 2 R's, which actually doesn't take a ton of effort for us. Tier 1's got enough stuff to make getting to tier 2 extremely easy. So Honestly, the knockback on this is so good. But yeah, I could definitely I could definitely do with making a few more spells, but look how easy that is. Like, just boom, get out of the way. This, Like I said, this is going to be the perfect pack for magic. Like, it's such a good pack for being, like, just straight up spellcaster. Okay, so what we're going to be looking for is structures in this dimension. Though, really, we got what I came here for, honestly. And that is... Hey! Oh my gosh! Of all things that kill it, and I end up here. <laughs> of all the things that would kill us in Adam, it's a Komodo dragon from Alex's mobs. Okay, well, I've got to get a little bit of XP at this point. I'm going to take a fishing rod and just fish. It's probably quickest just to fish three levels than it is to... I should need to set my spawn back at home. But I was here doing some stuff, and there was phantoms, and I happened to sleep, and I forgot about it, to be honest. It was my fault, though, because I should have just zoomed in the first place, and I had considered it, but then I was like, well, I'm going to shoot a little bit more, then I ran out my mana. Alex's mobs are really hard to hit because they move extremely fast. Uh, like the kangaroos and the Komodo dragons and stuff, they move incredibly fast. So, for the record, Komodo dragon, probably the worst mob in Adam, pre-pyramids, you know. Luckily, we are basically right next to where we died, so. We'll get our nutrition back up. Here we go. This is kind of what we're looking for right here. Um, but we do have a brigand club over here. Oh, look, there's two parties. They're, it actually looks like they're roaming off now, though. So we'll just kind of let them do their thing. There's somebody. Probably in that room. Yep. There we go. Now, I think there's liable to be another one, but look how much loot there is. And a lot of times there's actually really good stuff in this. So what do we got? We got canvas, we got carrot crates, we got cloth scrap, linen bandages, dirty necklaces, ooh, smoked ham, bales of straw, strange sand, wolf pelts, uh, aluminum. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, the loot here is really good already. Uh, we got iron desert leggings with mana regen three. Yes, please. That's perfect for us. Uh, we got an iron pick that's Got a little bit more durability than ours. Uh, Nebu Torch. We definitely want that. Got Sulfur Dust. More Smoked Ham. Dirty Necklace. Onion Crate. Golden Date. Uh, Diamond Camel Armor. It's another reason I want to I want to come here is for the camels. But it'll be a, probably a little bit before I can move them out of this dimension, I think. But that is okay. Though I... I see you. Uh, there's another spawner over on this side. We'll just pop it from up here. A lot of brigands moving around. We're going to loot the upstairs first because it'll be the easiest. Enchanted Golden Dite. Emmer Bread. We got Cabbage Crates. Hey! Boom! Boom!
Yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to head back, I'm going to dump stuff off, and then we're going to come back with a completely empty inventory and continue looting this, because we did find those pants. We're finding actually a lot of good treasure. There's another structure. It's not the one that we're currently attacking, though. No, it is. Is it? Wait a second, I should have marked it. Yeah, that's the one that we're attacking, because this is a peaceful one. This is like where we would trade things. Uh, like the gold coins that we've been getting. Uh, let's see. He'll buy rabbit and quail meat. Okay. Well, I don't have rabbit and quail meat. I do have rabbits I can set up, though. Oh, there's a spawner. Barbarian spawner. Let's just go ahead and bust that. There we go. We got bombs, wheels of cheese. Cave centipede legs. Okay. Dirty coins. A lot of the armor that we get here, I mean, not right now, but long term, it'll end up on armor stands. Because this whole dimension, perfect for our build. Enter a pyramid. <laughs> what? There must be a pyramid right underneath our feet. We got some iron desert boots with protection 3, mana boost 3, mana reach in 3. Wow. Oh, diamond desert wolf armor. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get much out of here at this point okay uh we're there let me let me pop back and dump off some stuff again like honestly i was just intending to go there and get papyrus was all i was really going after but it is a really good chance for us to get some easy iron loot it's actually kind of hard to pass up you know uh, iron desert legs with mana regen three and projectile protection four though honestly we'll probably tackle our first pyramids before too long I just, I want to push ours a little bit before we do that, but... Alright, so let's go down to the bottom floor. We have Vitality 4. That's a big one. Uh, Unbreaking 3 and Mana Boost 3. Yeah, we're going to be repairing some of this gear and using this for a bit. Because uh, honestly, Enchanted Iron Armor with like Mana Boost and maybe like Protection, that's sufficient for us. Okay, I'm actually suffering from a full inventory again. And we've only been exploring the northern end of this. Still haven't even finished exploring the village. Like, this was a good find right out the gate, to be honest. Alright, so at this point, I'm going to head back. I'm going to dump off our inventory once more. It's like four times for that one dungeon. We're going to have to look into actually upgrading our backpack. Bear in mind that whenever you upgrade these, make sure and take your stuff out. So we're going to bypass the ruin this time, and we're going to go straight for the village. This village right here. So nice just being able to, like, fly around. Oh, there's the top of a pyramid. Do we feel lucky? Moving on along, we have human female armor. Uh, iron desert chest plate, iron desert helmet. We're going to need a bunch of golden coins for that, though. But it does make me curious as to what she would get if she leveled up. Because there is actually no telling. Empty amulet. What is this? You can use... Ah, oh, yes! Well, now it's a little bit light, though. Kind of. It would still be useful, though. We can use em uh, Ender Pearls infinitely. There's a part of me that really wants to pop in there. You know it? Like, just just poke our, poke our heads in. That's all. This is the entrance. And nobody comes in and takes our pyramid. We're going to claim that. And that's just because this will be our pyramid number one. I don't know. I really, I, I don't think I want to go into that with like halfway broken iron armor. It's just, it's just a bad idea. Like, there's no real way around it. That's just a really bad idea. So I think we're going to hold off on that. Let's grab our zoom spell. Oh, that's all caving in. You can tell these are very fresh chunks, though. And honestly, these villagers, I would really like to maybe get a soul shard or something before too long. Speaking of, what's the... Like, if I was to just want to make a soul shard... There's a glass blower. We can buy crystal glass for only three coins. That's not bad. Uh, but these villagers I'd like to actually have in our town. Normally, I don't care much for villagers, but... Uh, Generally, the ones in, like, Adam, they're a little bit more balanced. There's a baby. Plus, they look like they belong in our town, right? We're going to pop back out now. 
I think we've we've done what we came to accomplish and then some. Because like I said, the only thing I actually really went there for was Papyrus. I wanted to get Papyrus and I wanted to leave and I was hoping it wouldn't take us that long and it didn't. Papyrus was right outside the door. But then I kept going. And I'm kind of glad I did. We got a lot of good stuff. Like we got all of this stuff. All this stuff. I want to take a look at this point. Just really, really quick. Because we've got a Soulbound Mana Region 3 chest. We've got Protection 3, Mana Boost 3, Mana Region 3 boots. That one, that one's going to stay for a while. I've noticed a lot of lag when somebody gets Stone Age. I don't know what it is about Stone Age, but we have Unbreaking 3, Mana Boost 3. That one can stay. We won't need it yet. And then we have Mana Regen 3, Projectile Protection 4. The only thing I don't have an enchanted version of is a headpiece. Oh yeah, I meant to have this, Luck Coin. And I think some of the stuff, like we can get rid of Butcher's Cleaver because I'm actually getting bones from the fish farm. Uh, definitely keeping Horseshoe and definitely keeping Slingshot. I think. I mean, Slingshot's not, well yeah, it's got the knockback and it keeps them at range really, really easy. Golden Skull we picked up. Well, it was this morning and Tyler said all it does it gives you bags with like gold items in them but we've got like basically infinite gold so I'm not that worried about that uh, I'm probably gonna take wither nail for now uh, just as like a general purpose thing so honestly I'm probably gonna go ahead and just repair these pieces and technically these boots have got unbreaking three those are pretty nice boots for right now like iron boots so we're going to go ahead and take that. But we'll be pushing on to like diamond stuff pretty quickly. But this stuff's so nice. Like we've got 470 mana with it. And let's see how fast our mana regens. Like look at that. Yeah, I tell you what. Uh, if I don't do it, it's going to burn a hole in me. Wanting to do it. So we're going to go do the Pharaoh, I think. Because really everything that I would want for it, I've got... We're going to take our Nebu torches. We're only going to need about six of these. Quest completed. Pyramids. Oh, there's like a whole thing here. So we get some golden coins. And we'll set out. Originally, I wasn't going to do pharaohs until we pushed ours just a little bit more. But honestly, I mean, we're having good luck. And these the pharaohs, they're really not going to be hard. I don't foresee them being hard. Um, it's more going to be... <clears throat> Getting down to the pharaohs is going to be a little bit more dangerous. We're going to need to take our time. Uh, take it a little bit slow going through here, but uh, I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, probably the easiest thing to do first is going to be grab Mage Lamp. And we're going to put our Nebu torches in right there. I'm going to go ahead and hit F7 so that we can... kind of see what we got going on here and if we lure these outside they're going to catch on fire so this first room can be a little bit dangerous just never rush in because that's a sure way to get yourself killed but we've got so much mana regen right now like if we didn't have this much mana regen i'd be a little bit more iffy Though, really, I don't think even that matters that much for the pharaohs, but... I mean, it just depends on if they have, like, super high health or something. And to some degree, it kind of depends on which one we get, too. To a lesser degree, that is. Let's go ahead and light this up. I'll just leave the spawners. Because uh, they're not going to hurt anything now. We've lit this place up. Uh, oh, carbuncle shards. Oh, we're getting a lot of mana wave. Uh, Komodo dragon bottles. Oh, we got corporea sparks. And Minecraft cats. That's perfect. I've been wanting... My girlfriend, every time she sees my base right now, she's like, you really need cats in there. I'm like, I know. Mage rose with protection three and soul bound. Uh, we got camels. Oh, that's super nice. Fire protection. Another Nebu torch. Usually you'll find a few in here, but always make sure you carry at least enough. Make sure you've got at least six with you. Kangaroos. Oh, 
Oh, this is great. I love this place. I end up running out of spice. More Corporea Sparks. That's awesome because I'm really thinking this is going to be a really good pack for Corporea. You know, at least at least minor Corporea. Not necessarily do our entire system on it because I know from Celestial Journey, most of the viewers didn't really enjoy that very much. Uh, and a lot of people were complaining about it, so... But we can at least do, you know, some. Some Corporea for sure. Okay, so here we're going to be taking it kind of slow. And we're going to be looking for the exit. Now, sometimes you'll find mobs in here, but usually it's going to be pretty mob-free for the most part. Okay, now this right here, we're going to right-click that with a pickaxe. Since we got something in our offhand, we can't be holding shift when we do it. Okay, nothing down there. And this is like basically just a little mini maze. We're looking for a ladder down. There's the ladder that we're looking for. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead. And we're going to want to take it slow here. There's going to be more traps. And these, it's very important that we go ahead and just disable all the traps, all the things. And we want to light this area up completely. Yeah, so this actually wasn't that hard because where we're at now, it's all downhill from here. We've pretty much made it through the worst of the, the place. I'm going to go ahead and get all the traps cleaned out and then we're going to open some of these rooms. Whoops. I think we've gotten all the traps. And you'll notice right there that looked a little bit different. That's because that is a secret room, actually. Oh. Okay. True shot three. Pyramid Explorer map. Is that going to end up being the same pyramid that we're in right now? It sure is. Uh, so if we click right here, this is going to open up. Usually these rooms, in a, in, well, in a lot of cases, they'll have a really good loot in them. It may not be the case here, but... Uh, more corpor... Oh, I'm loving this. Desert Wolves. Diamond Desert Boots with Protection 3 and Unbreaking 3. Oh my gosh. Mage Boots. Diamond Sword with Outlaw 5 and Mending. <laughs> you can have my Iron Sword, thank you. Electrum. Uh, we got more Minecraft cats. Oh my god. I don't have space. I do not have space for all the things. I need the cats though. My girlfriend will get really mad at me if I don't get the cats. I may I may dump some of these like crates and stuff. Because, I mean, maybe I'll come back later and pick them up, you know? Uh, but I don't, I don't necessarily have to have them. And that's like the sand. I keep picking up the sand. It's not rare. I am going to take the canvas for sure. Just because that's something I know we'll end up just chewing through. So we've cleared that area out. Uh, let's go... Do this room. Um, I'm mainly looking for like really big stuff right now. Short bow with flame. I'll leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that stuff. I'll probably end up coming back at some point and just coming down here and just getting all the things, you know? But, uh... For right now, this will be good. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. We got some Electrum. That's nice. We got some Corporea Sparks. That's nice. We got more Camels. Also nice. I'm running out of nice space at the moment. I'll dump the sand for now. I'm going to take the camels. And we do have an Isis healing. Which I definitely have to have. Regenerates health slowly while equipped. Uh, now, right now, technically, we do have the invisibility. But honestly, I think I'd rather have regeneration. Okay, now this is... An important room. It does mean that boss... I mean, mobs are going to be able to see us a lot easier. But we're actually reaching the point very, very quickly where we're not going to care if mobs see us. Uh, now this room, do be careful. There's going to be a lot of traps in here. And once again, it's important that we get rid of all the traps. 
Oh, this mana regen is so good. It makes ours so, so good. Whoops. Don't ever do that, by the way. Don't just walk into the room like that. Uh, wow, Totem of Undying. That's kind of a big deal. We got Desert Wolf. Jars. <clears throat> tell you what i don't i can leave this desert wolf armor for now uh we'll end up getting it but for right now i think i want to switch it out uh, and actually the totem of undar undying i'm gonna go ahead for right now i know it's like expensive and all that what i can do is i can equip it as a just in case sort of thing and then if we were to die we've got it and then if we don't die then you know we've still got it kind of a thing plus it saves me an inventory slot so there's that too because we're gonna need it probably here in just a minute uh, okay so now at this point i do want to clear out the traps for this room and this is the boss room oh and actually we do have an unlit nebu torch there so we'll be able to save one nebu torch what we're going to do this is the important part we're going to take our enchanted ash ah we can't do it that's fine i was hoping that we could <laughs> so in that case i will probably go ahead and throw this on uh, that makes sense because you can't build or break blocks in these, so. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, we got to click it now, don't we? I don't really want to. There we go. Okay, yeah, we can't actually use doors anymore to our advantage. They fixed that. Probably for the best. Oh, he came around behind us, you sneaky fellow. This is perfect, though. This is kind of how we want to be fighting him. Because that way we can dodge. And honestly, our Isis charm... We couldn't have gotten anything better in this case. They do have a little bit of regen, so it's good that we've got enough damage to actually offset that regen. And we've got enough mana regen. There we go. I'm going to eat another golden apple real quick. It's time to run a little bit here. He might regen a little bit of health, but it's not a big deal for us. Let's go ahead and eat that. Oh, that's not where I want to be. Something like this is a bit better for us. Now, I may have a... Stone guard coming up behind me, but actually this is perfect because all, all of his shots get caught But he's still trying to hit us because he can see us and he's thinking well, I can shoot you Little does he know that he actually can't And see this is why we wanted all the traps taken care of because Taking damage from those traps as we're trying to go through there Never good There we go. What did we get? We got Nephthys Guard. Uh, Divine Ward halves damage from undead. Nice. Very, very nice. And that's not all of our loot either. We're going to have a little bit more. Let's deal with him. Uh, we can go ahead and throw that ring on. And what did we get? We got Golden Desert Boots, Chest Plate, Pedestal Magnet. I'm going to take it. Sprouting Fungus. We actually needed that for something. I can drop off the us. Uh, we did get a Zombie Heart. We got Dusty Mumbies. Nice. I'm going to switch that out. I think I can leave the bombs behind. Take the coins. 
because we'll want to wash those. Is there anything I can drop for these straw bales? It's just a lot of grass, and I'm like, eh, yeah, let's drop gold. I don't really need this. We did it. See, that, that wasn't that bad, and we got some really good stuff. Oh, yeah, we're going to have assassins at this point. There we go. Of course, I could just do slash spawn, but we're actually going to leave the temple proper. Blank eyes. That's the one where we can look at Enderman? Yeah. There we go. Ophidian tongue. All right, let's get up out of here now. You can see that the pyramid is kind of falling apart here. And that's because we have destroyed it. Actually, it destroys all the spawners, too. So we, sh I guess, should have taken them for, for the free XP. But there we go. We have escaped the temple, the pyramid. And now at this point, there's a lot of actually really powerful things that you can get from Adam. Just from killing the, uh, the god, the, the pharaohs. Some very, very powerful things that we can get. And at this point, we know that we can reasonably take them out. And it's going to get progressively easier. Like, the more artifacts that we get from Adam, the easier it's going to get. Because, like, right now, we take half damage from Undead, which I believe that includes Pharaohs, in fact. We actually got a banner. Why do they keep dropping everything? And I guess, really, I claim this because I was like, well, I want to make sure that we got a pyramid to do uh, on camera. But we definitely... Just went ahead and did it. Alright, but at this point, we can just zoom on home. We're not even going to take the easy way out. We're going to actually go back to our portal, and we can go dump off all this stuff. But from that, we got some super gear, right? We got a new diamond sword. We got diamond desert boots that are already enchanted out. We got a passive regen effect. I mean, it's not like super powerful, but it's passive healing. That's kind of big. And we take half damage from undead. That is huge. Because that should include the wither. I believe it includes pharaohs. You take a look. I mean, there is some really powerful weapons. There's some really powerful armor. Like this gives fire immunity. Going to the nether with full fire immunity. Kind of a big deal. And raw step. <laughs> Lava walk in the nether. It would be quite nice. But the ones we got are actually really, really nice. Maybe get those. And then like maybe raw step and shoes swiftness. We can also take like our dirty coins and we can throw these into water. And you can see we got some gold coins out of that. Uh, our dirty ring, we can throw that in. We got a silver ring. Uh, we got some dirty brooches. We got dirty bracelets and so on. We can wash all of our artifacts. Uh, sometimes villagers will buy them. Um, and then I know they're used in some recipes. And I say what, actually, let's just grab all of our dirty stuff. And we'll just go ahead and wash it real quick before we end out the episode. So, I'm not for sure how long this episode is, but I'm going to guess it's probably pretty close to wrapping up point. Uh, next episode, if when we're doing Pharaohs, you know, we'll just kind of cut to the meat of it, probably, unless something interesting happens. I tend to leave stuff recording, you know, but... Boom! 58 golden coins. Rings are plenty! Yeah, give me... Give me the rings. Oh, and not to mention we've got corporea sparks. So that's all the stuff we got from washing uh, our stuff. Belt of levitation. And then also the amulet of mana region. Oh, which if we go to undergarden and do a little bit of nature's aura, we could get. Amulet of mana boost. If we go to undergarden, we could get. Oh, it's so, so good. So good. There's so much good stuff. That's why I've been trying to push on to the dimensions. Because with Adam and ours, we're, we're going to be able to be like really powerful and do lots of really good things. Uh, and then also we did complete this quest right here and we get some more golden coins from that. Uh, and then they want us to make the God Forge. And our God Forge is going to kind of come into play whenever uh, we start getting duplicate stuff. We'll definitely be making one probably next episode, I imagine. But once we start getting uh, some duplicate things, we'll definitely make use of those. So exciting. All right. But anyways, I know it's wrapping up point for this episode. So we're going to end this one out here. And then next episode, like I said, we're going to be killing some more pharaohs. I'll probably go ahead and start recording that one tonight. And then we'll probably go to Undergarden. Maybe spend, you know, a couple episodes. There's Undergarden's going to be quick. There's not 
that much to do there realistically. Uh, but Adam is jam-packed full of content. Basically, pharaoh farming. It's super fun. And we it didn't really pay off for us to do it in that one pack that we played recently, Craft to Exile. Um, it didn't really pay off in that pack at all to farm pharaohs, but it definitely pays off on this one, like a lot. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then. Oh, and by the way, if you were curious, we do still have our Totem of Undying.